it is really too early to say if both incidents are linked. What we can say is that there are similarities in how both incidents happen, but we don't know if they are linked. Just yeah, so we are able to confirm that about 12.40 today, there was a shooting incident at the Brayton Park Scotia Bank in Port Moore. That's where we are now. Based on what we know so far, that security from the Beryllium company, they were in the process of servicing the ATM machine when they were attacked by gunmen with high-powered weapons and handguns. A number of um, shots were fired. At the end of the shooting, three of the security officers were shot and injured. We just made checks with the police officers who are currently with the team at the hospital and they are saying that we're, whilst it's serious but not necessarily life-threatening based on the information from the medical team that's currently treating them. Following the incident, the response of the police officers were very quick uh, because at the, um, at the scene the information was that there were two cars that were involved in the incident with the gunmen. So they were able to intercept the vehicles. They now have two vehicles in custody, suspected to be the vehicles that were involved in the shooting earlier. And they are carrying on that investigation. They were um, found somewhere in the Lakes Bend area. And there are also some support, along with the police and the military in that area, carrying out some underground operations as we speak. So in the meantime, the commanding officer, which is here with his team, there are persons dispatched out trying to get more information and they are following some strong leads as well so as the information as the investigation progresses then we should be able to provide more information are you in particular to tell us how many gunmen were involved we don't know the exact number of gunmen that were involved but we know based on the number of spent shell that we saw at the scene and the shots that were fired we know there were a number of persons involved at the moment it's a wide investigation. The police, are, the investigators are not ruling out anything. The fact that we have two similar incidents, key investigators want, would want to examine that as well. Earlier, I spoke with the commanding officer and his team, and they have they, are, they, are, they have made some advanced progress in the first in incident. So this, they will just continue with the investigation, and now they will have to look carefully at this. So I know that the team of investigators that are working on this case will be looking at everything. This incident happened on a Sunday evening, um, you know, Sunday afternoon. The, the previous one happened on a Monday morning early. Those seem to be time when not necessarily heavy police presence. Are the criminals outsmarting even the police in terms of how they're going about this? I wouldn't necessarily say um, that they are outsmarting us. Um, what they are doing is planning, they are organizing um, and choosing. I mean, we have seen where some of the criminals in Portmore are just free, um, freestyling, so to speak, um, lurking around just for an opportunity, looking for vulnerable um, persons to attack. So some of that do happen, and in some of those cases, it not necessarily will have the police there and location to respond. I think it's full time. People understand that you know all of us have to be a part of securing our nation. Um, as one person said to me earlier. Um, if you take the U um, out security, yeah. if you take it out, then it changes the meaning. So security involves all of us. Isn't it? How do you get members of the public to stop? What's the word I'm looking for? Tampering. Tampering, Tampering with the tax. Yeah. Uh, I mean, good point that you raise. And of course, I would use the opportunity again to you know, remind the public that when we have these scenarios, to try as best as possible. You know, not to compromise the scene by doing exactly what you just said. People running over the scene, taking off things and so on. You know, we'll just make that appeal again. We know that when something like this happens, people are genuinely concerned about an incident like this. It's one of the, the, the ATM that is very well used and um, we're very thankful at this time that more persons weren't injured given the level of um, gunfire that we, 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 we see based on the evidence here at the scene. No other persons were injured. So we know that persons will have concerns, but I know that um, the local police, they are, they will be, and they have started the discussion and will be in discussion with the, with the, with the banks. We know that the banks, they also have their own security systems that they, they do. So it's just that um, they will be discussing it some more. We can see how brazen 
these criminals are becoming more brazen so you, whatever system you put in sometimes it's not foolproof so they will still try to breach it so even as we speak to individuals we still ask them to be cautious and um, based on what we see is that they are not targeting the individuals who are utilizing the bank per se they are more inclined to be targeting the, the courier the, the, the beryllium um, the two incidents that we saw they actually it was directed at the company that transport the Which money. Which comes back to my question about looking at the company because who studies when beryllium come in to put money in an ATM? Well, I know that um, discussion was had and discussion will be had with the security company. As I said, there's no system that is foolproof. So in cases like these, it, the, the senior managers from the force will engage senior managers from that company. The local um, officer on the scene well, based on their local knowledge and based on the information that they have, they will also provide briefs. So it's about they have to go to the table and have some discussion um, to see what happened, do some post-mortem, look at the systems that are in place because no systems are foolproof and to see if we can make recommendations from our side about security measures that can be implemented. And so the dialogue continues, but as I said, there's no foolproof system, so there will be a lot of discussion between the security company and the police.